Hi, everybody. We're oh, back. Hi, matey. We're back. Are you ready to sail the seven seas with your favorite adventurers? <laughs> what is that? Uh, pirate Lego. Or Sturdy Dog. <laughs> Why couldn't the 17-year-old get into the pirate movie? Why not? Because it was rated R. R. I love that. I, I, I like... I, I got it. Squidward tentacles. <laughs> what? Squidward? Squidward said that. Yeah, Squidward. Yeah, Squidward. Did he actually say that? He did. I love that. Squidward tentacle once said, why can the 17-year-old get into the pirate movie? Why? Because it was rated R. I, I don't, I'm still not sure that I actually believe that he said that. He did. But... He did, I swear. Would I, I ever, would I ever lie to you about something so important? No, you're right. <laughs> Lie. Of course I would lie about something like that. I would absolutely lie. <laughs> Don't mislead the audience. I will, absolutely... I will absolutely betray the trust of the audience with quotes from Spongebob. Absolutely. Nate, are you destroying my trust right now? Yes, you should be very afraid of me. Heart equals broken. I wandered into the wilderness and I stole from a temple and now my morality has decreased. So now um, I'm on a pathway where um, for the story choices of the RPG of life, yeah. where now I'll get the bad ending. Nice. Uh, you should check out the mine. It's Wait, significantly improved. Oh, do you need the coordinates for home? No. Okay. I don't wear it. Or I am going to dump some things. I got a few more stacks of coal. I don't want to go into another temple. I found another temple. Dude, go in. Why would you I not go in? I, had, I didn't have a pickaxe, okay? So, okay, make a pickaxe then. Not, I don't have the resources to do that. Why not? Make, get them. They're the easy. Desert, they don't exist. <laughs> They're not here. <laughs> they can't do it. I want to do it. <laughs> come back home. No. Then that's on you. <laughs> that's on you. You're gonna leave me. Leave me in the wilderness to starve, to die. Ah! I mean, what other option is there? Uh, yeah, no, that's fair. Mm -hmm. I just love. Oh, I just thought of something. Oh, it's nighttime. That would make such a good premise for like a movie or something. Yeah. yeah. Like, like when the top going gets tough and a film and everyone's down on their luck. Uh, they just give up. <laughs> yeah, that would be great. Would you watch that? I would totally watch that. Like, you would get all the way to the end, and then realistically, you would watch a movie where they gave up on that, and then had to deal with the trauma of it? Yeah. I feel like that's, <laughs> I feel like that's great. Like, and then they just live a normal life as a normal person, and nothing remarkable happened in the end. Yeah. They had a chance at it, but they got second place, and then that's what they did at the Olympics or something? Exactly. Yeah. That's rough. That is rough, narratively. <coughs> would that, like, hurt your soul to watch? Uh... Probably, but that doesn't mean I wouldn't watch it. <laughs> I feel like I would have to see it once. Yeah. I want to, I like the satisfying endings like that sometimes. Yeah. They can they can be oddly fulfilling. <laughs> I don't, no. No, I, I disagree there, but... Um, like, they fulfill an urge in you. Not necessarily... Like, but they can still feel... Like, yeah, I feel like... They, they just feel like you're like, yep, that, that's what I would do. Yeah. <laughs> when the going gets tough... Give up. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's, that's the life lesson. That's what the title is up to. Go and get stuff. Give up. <laughs> I mean, what else would you do? I try and make something of yourself. Persevere. Nah. Make a testament of yourself to the resiliency of the human spirit. No. <laughs> Nay. It was too hard. Yeah. Hear me. Why would you do that when you could not? <laughs> so much easier to sit in your room and never live at all. <laughs> exactly. You get it. I'm oh, a skeleton. I'm a skeleton. Oh crap. I'm a skeleton. 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 i am a skeleton 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 Justin Bieber's I Will Never Say Never. Yeah, because he's saying never a whole lot for somebody who twice. says never. Twice. No, not just twice, because there's a whole... He, it doesn't, he doesn't just say it once. Yeah, it's you know? part of the chorus. It's so frustrating. Yeah. Does it not just fill you with unbridled rage? It does, actually. You not just want to, like, reach in to the screen and no. grab that little <laughs> tiny boy and tell him, you, you hush. Dude, Justin Bieber, I feel like, has been treated the worst possible way ever since he got in the limelight. Yeah, but he's not that bad a singer. <laughs> like, he's not a bad dude, he's not a bad singer, but, like, he was treated so poorly on every angle, on every yeah. side for years. And, like, I, I was, like, part of the, like, oh, you know, like, hate on him because he's, like, hate on a bull, I guess. Course, but, like, like, I was a child. It's you know? because anyone who was, like, older than us, right, <laughs> yeah. like in the older brother zone for us, as you would call it, like, three or four years older, Yeah. Um, they would all hate on Justin Bieber and Twilight, when, like, yeah. there's stuff to appreciate about both of them. Yeah. Twilight's fine. Actually, no, I still have problems with Twilight. I've never seen it. I've watched, like, analysis of it, and it seems like it's okay. not great, but, it's kind like, of, not great theme-wise. It's a good cheesy romance, right? Mm. And there's some fun elements to it, and some good eye can good man candy in the, in the roles. So, you know. 
<laughs> but then, like, the guys were, like, underage or something, right? Like, it was, it was something oh, weird like that. Uh, I, th- I thought they were old enough, which is why I made that joke. If not, I don't mean that. Or they, it may have just been, like, um the, like the characters and not no, necessarily the, character, the actors. I, I, I thought the actors were. Maybe it, the, the werewolf guy, he may not have been, actually. Yeah, I don't know. And I know there was, like, weird either. controversy around something like that. Well, if, I know one part. It may have been that, um, so, one guy's, like, a hundred-year-old vampire guy, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, the main guy, what's his name? Uh, Eduardo. Edward, that's right, yeah. It's Edward and Team Jason? Jacob. Jacob. Come on, you've seen the movies. I, I, I think I've seen, like, uh, one. Well, you've seen more than I have. I've <laughs> seen the Paramore music video. Oh, that's great. That's <laughs> great. But no, uh, so Edward, right, he's, like, several hundred years old, and he yeah. goes and he hangs out at a high school and tries to, you know, riz up a girl who's underage. Yeah. And the protagonist is not an adult. She is a minor. Yeah. And he does creep out around schools, which is not... Yeah. Like, it's... It was not meant to be written that way. What the author was trying to do is have a story where, like, this girl meets a mythical being and they fall in love, right? Yeah. Right? Which is fun. That's fun. I know why she wrote it that way. It's just, she didn't consider yeah. that, that if you reverse it, it literally makes sense for a pedophile. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's just unfortunate writing. Because that's not, that is not what she was going for at all. I never got that vibe from the author. No one seems to accuse her of that. I feel like I have seen people saying, like, oh, this is weird, why'd you write it like that? No, I, I, I say that. I definitely say that. It's, it, it was a... I she did a lot of Yeah. Um, sure. I should make a shovel. No. But, and then the, the other part is that, so Jacob, right, the werewolf, right? Yeah. Falls in love with the main girl, the baby. Oh, I did hear about that. I think he, like, married or something. Yeah, he falls in love with the baby while the baby is still in the womb or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, I didn't like that either. Yeah, I don't like that. I, I don't... That one I don't have any defense for. I, I feel like that was just, like, fucked up. I, I think that was bad. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why that was written. Yeah. I've got a spooky Halloween decoration on my head. You want to hear the shopping part? Yeah. I bet you they didn't even mean it that way. <clears throat> right? I don't think they meant it to be that creepy. Yeah. But here's the problem with it, right? Yeah. In what universe is that not creepy? Yeah, I don't, I don't know how that would not be, like, really what? awful and creepy. Is there any way, from their perspective, in their brains, that that couldn't sound absolutely bad? <laughs> I don't think so, which would mean it would have to be intentional. But yeah, so either they're sane and they wrote something really gross, right? Yeah. Or they're completely nuts. Yeah. <laughs> is, that, is that the conclusion we're coming to? That they're nuts? That they're nuts? Yeah. I feel like you'd have to be nuts to write Twilight. What? <laughs> I do like some things, though. Everything yeah. got, including me, I'm not mad back in the day that the vampires didn't have any weaknesses. Yeah. Right? I wanted to be able to kill the vampires, right? Cause, but I mean, you would never genuinely encounter one. No, so you're fine. Wait, what do you mean? No, 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 no. In, in the fictional universe, yeah. like, vampires traditionally, you kill them, they can't come into a door unless you invite them in, they're afraid of garlic, <coughs> uh, they burn in holy water, etc., etc., yada, yada, yada. Yeah. Stay through the heart. Yeah, that kind of thing. Holy crosses, you know. Yeah. Castlevania. Just like yeah. Castlevania. <laughs> you back. Are you around? Yeah, you're still here. Hey, what's up? Oh, hello. Don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. I have a pumpkin for you as well. Don't hit me, don't hit me. It's spooked over. Turn around. Turn around. I'm not going to hit you. Don't hit me. I'm not going to hit you. Turn around. Okay. But I don't know if I can see through this like you, you can. can. Oh, no, you can't. Never mind. You got your textures on. You got your little texture bag. I see you over there. Yeah, you I can actually. You know what I can see? Nothing. That sucks for you. <laughs> sucks for me. I'm going to put mine in front of the house. Well, there's more pumpkins around. Okay. Um, I need food. I have no food. There's food have... smelting in the furnace. May I have it? Yep. Thank you. I came home with an emerald, an iron horse armor. Nice. Uh, we got a saddle. Booty on gold. Oh, yeah. And we're going to have space to move Nice. Well, um, <clears throat> yeah, that was when we were writing this However, the movies, yeah. like I watched them with some of my friends in college, Yeah. Uh, they're kind of hilarious. It's like, they, you should, they're fun to go back and watch it because you just want something just like this fun. Yeah. But again, that, those weird plot points are there. Yeah. So if that bothers you, and it does bother me, I probably will. Yeah, I'm probably not going to watch it. But no, I also, not. like, I'm not, I don't think it's like this awful, crazy thing. Like, I've seen a lot of stuff where it's like, Pretty much as soon as teenage girls like something, society decides it's bad. Was it, that was Sarah's, not Sarah Z, that was Izzy. Uh, Izzy, Izzy is, yeah. Her perspective on that is so correct. Yeah. It's true, like, any big teenage girl's like, is officially being true. Yeah, which uh, sucks. Which, like, I don't know. The, like, the truth is, anything that anyone under the age of 20 thinks is true is cringe. <laughs> but it also, like, ties in with misogyny, yeah. so it's not very fun. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was going to have more shovels. Yeah. Like, you know, like teenage girls at that time were getting like Tumblr and Izzy if you've never heard of her uh, folks. Go look her up. Amazing. Z Y I Z Z Z. Yeah. Or something. Just type in a bunch of I Z's and then a Y and then more Z's and you'll find her channel. Yeah. She's absolutely amazing and definitely one of the people that I just like love listening to. Yeah. I wish she'd make more stuff. I know she does, but like she needs to make it more often so I can watch it. 
Um, oh, well, that, good, that, that means she's been doing a job. Yeah. Um, but no, if she would talk about that, where people would be on like Tumblr and stuff, or like fandoms of the it was like a lot of girls would be really passionate about it, and that was specifically what was picked on by like people on the internet. Yeah. And I don't know, fandom's fine. Yeah. I, I, I even like some aspects of it. I just never really, well, I wasn't really online much as a kid. I grew up being very suspicious of people on the internet. Yeah, I know my parents were like, oh, you can't like, like basically you can't like socialize online because that's. Uh, what's it called? Like you're opening yourself up to like random people on the internet who could hurt you. And, then, you know? and I, that honestly, I thought it was good training. And to me, I feel like if you're on the internet, you've already lost. Yeah. <laughs> you've already lost the internet. But like, also, I say that making a video, right? Yeah. This was a, a big step for me, privacy-wise, to be willing to put myself out there on the internet. Yeah. Um, That's like a place where I feel like it was kind of a contradiction for me growing up, because it was like, I was always encouraged to put myself out there as far as like, making YouTube videos and stuff like that, you know, but like, when it came to like, oh, I've got this friend from like, anywhere, you know, they were like, ah, oh, you sure they're who they say they are? You know? good, good parents. Good, yeah. good parents, though. I'm proud of them. But like, this is annoying. I don't know. I'm, I'm still salty a little bit. Would you let your kids grow up with you? I would let them grow up with a monitored version. Basically, what I would theoretically do, and what I would like to do, or when I do eventually have kids, hopefully, mm -hmm. um, is just letting that be not isolated. Like, I feel like all the problems with the internet come in when you're isolated on the internet. Because oh, you're like, oh, I can go do this thing that I would be embarrassed to do otherwise. Um, and Or like, that I maybe shouldn't do, you know? Like, I, I have no excuse <laughs> not to now. Um, and that, I feel like, is where yeah. the internet tends to get dangerous. Uh, so really, the, the bigger thing for me would just be, you know, like, if they're going to have time on the internet, not letting that be isolated um, all the time. I think, I think what would help me a lot is that my parents didn't understand the internet. They none of our parents did. Yeah. And they weren't very willing to talk about a lot of deep, big things, like, especially, like, as puberty and sex and stuff, a lot. Yeah. So I think often, been, like, a lot of us are able to learn the world through the eyes of the internet. Yeah, which is really awful. It's the worst possible way you could ever win anything. Yeah. Uh, because it really isn't safe for kids. It's, yeah. it's just, it's not. Um, it, it ages you up really fast. Um, I think what I would do, because, you know, I, there's just so much stuff online that can, like, you know, make yeah. you depressed and stuff. I don't I want to encourage them to be online to be social, because this is a medium for communication unlike anything the world's ever seen. Yeah. But at the same time, I don't know if I would give them a laptop until they're much older. Yeah. But as a result of that, I would... <laughs> I don't know if I would give them a laptop until they needed one for school, like in high school. Yeah. But in co but before that, like even as early as like middle school, right? Yeah. I'm buying a family computer, like a huge, big computer, right? Yeah. A giant desktop. You want to sleep? Yeah, yeah. And I, I want to load that and make that so unbelievably fun, but just keep it in a place where everyone can enjoy it. Yeah. I feel like that's a really big thing. Because I think what people try to do, it's the same problem when people put kids in front of the TV. Yeah. To kind of babysit them. I understand why families do it. The world, you need time, and the world is so fast now, right? Yeah. But simultaneously, you can't, and what they learned from TV, I don't think was good. Yeah. And I feel like I kind of, in some ways, tended to, like, grow up on TV a little. And yeah, I don't think that's different, you know? No, it, 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 it's, just, it's just one of those things. Your parents can only do as good as they can. Yeah. And, like, and every parent needs a break. Raising kids is, like, probably the hardest thing on earth. Yeah. Um, because there's so much importance behind it. Um, but do you have any wheat? Or oh, I see. Oh, I got several. I just want to lure some sheep into the sheep hole. <laughs> into the sheep hole. Yeah. Right now I've got a bunch of wheat going. Um, there's some in the chest. Oh, here. Hold on for a second. I got one. You want? You want a couple more? Uh, sure. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I think a cow hole too. I think having a family computer creates a sense of unity that I quite like. Yeah. But then it can also allow them to become educated on the internet. Yeah. And things in a safer way. Yeah. I don't know what I would put on a computer. Would I put parental controls on it? Um, like, I don't know. Maybe I just teach them correct on the internet, and then, kind of like riding a bike, I won't stop it from going a certain speed. You know? Yeah. And then if they find something, I just deal with it then. But that might be irresponsible. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I, deal with it. I duel with it. I don't know how I raise a kid. Age a kid. Yeah. That's never going to be an easy answer, you know? Yeah, you don't want to, like... One thing I felt is that... I feel like you don't want to use any gilbert to be able to show your jumper. Yeah. And I was like, neither one is good. And I feel a little, I, I feel a little jumper. Yeah. And for people that were overexposed, I don't think they very much at all. The only thing that they had in common is that a lot of kids were overexposed. And yeah. so they at least can find company with each other in the culture and ideas of the age. Whereas the shelter guys, while they probably weren't exposed to too much as early, I, I feel like it does lead to lack of connection later on. And which one I prefer. And then, yeah. Like, it, it, they both seem to have, like, drawbacks, because nothing's perfect. What, would they, 
it, it feels like a cop out to say that the answer is just moderation, right? Yeah, but at the same time, what better answer could there be? You know? I, don't, I don't know. I don't know if humans were meant to have this level of technology. <laughs> to even deal with it socially. Definitely not. But, but yeah, what am I kidding? Like social media, there's no humans are not designed very wanting to deal with this. Yeah. But at the same time we have it, you know? So what and we choose to fun. do with it is what we choose. Yeah. But I think I'm just trying to teach them to be responsible with it. Yeah. But Ah, oh, it didn't give me a seed. I gotta replace the seed. Okay, that's fair. No, I got one. I'm not just gonna I'm just gonna leave it high and dry. High and dry. Mm. Um there we go. Yeah. Need. Oh. What are you up to? Uh, I've just been over here introspecting about like a bunch of stuff. I, I want to refocus. I am working on making our house into an actual house. Oh, did you look at the mine? No, I haven't. You, you should go check it out. out. Yeah. Uh, all right. And this way. Hold on, I got a quick sippy of my uh, sparkling water. Yeah. These are good, by the way, the wild cherry ones. Yeah, I like um. They slap. I like the blueberry pomegranate. Boobly, boobly. <laughs> All right, yeah, okay. All right. So, if you haven't noticed, the mine now goes two blocks further into our living room. Oh. Why is that? Because it's completely stairs. Yes. Um, so oh, I'm not if you, my head. Oh, you're not bonking your head. You're completely safe. And this is the strip mine so far. Is yeah. this now on Y13? Uh, no, we are on Y13. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. Here, yeah. you're gonna think, and then I'll join you. Cool. This is, so oh, cool. This is not what I wanted to be doing right now. <laughs> what are you doing? I just wanted to show it to you. I was working on making an like a surface level floor of our house. Oh, did you get any cows when you got sheep? No, not yet, but I'm going to. Here, while you're doing the surface level, I'm going to work on, uh, I'm going to grab some cows. All right, yeah. I'll make a cow pit. Do you have any desire for where? Uh, somewhere near the sheep. Okay, I got you. Um, let's see. Do we have more birch wood? Uh, maybe. Alright. I will... I'd rather launch out the chat. I'll get more. Cow time. Cow time. What would he do? All we need is two. That is exactly true. I can't find three. Distracted. You got me distracted now. I'm getting weak. All 
right, well, fine. No, go back, 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 go
So in yeah. the process, you have to explain to an app to understand the meme. Yeah. Because it was a meme of me using a Snapchat filter to look like Freddy Fazbear, but with my eyes and lips superimposed over the model. Yeah. And then me starting to do the or, 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 meme, Oh, yeah, that. Right? Yeah. And then screaming. <laughs> That one part of it, as it breaks down into nothingness. And I thought it was pretty entertaining. Yeah, no, I love that. And then I titled it, When You Realize That You Had Five Nights to Buy Extra Batteries for Power in FNAF. <laughs> because, like, in all the games, right, like, especially FNAF 2, just buy a pack of batteries. Yeah. You have how many days here? <laughs> yeah. Or even, I mean, obviously the real answer is quit, right? But, yeah. like, why can't you get batteries? <laughs> yeah. It's a little ridiculous. <laughs> oh, yeah, that that's the thing. That's the thing, though. It's like, I'm like, this totally destroys the realism in my, uh, in my ghost Chuck E. Cheese jump scare game. <laughs> yeah. It's like, so on one hand, it's like, I recognize the futility of my own argument. On the other hand, it's really funny, and I wanted to say it. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, I see it. So I had to then explain to him, first of all, like, internet, like, that what I was trying to convey involved a meme, or, 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 yeah. which involves you have to explain Five Nights at Freddy's and who Freddy is, and then explain there was a meme of him making that noise, right? Is that where it's from? Because like I never really knew the origin. Of it. The origin of the song is do 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 do. It's like a classic okay. song. Yeah, no, I've heard I've heard that tune before. But Five Nights at Freddy, when he comes and jump scares you, yeah, uh, he goes, uh, uh, that starts playing, and then okay. he'll jump at a random point during the song, so you never know when he's coming. Yeah, to try and scare the shorts off of you. Yeah, um, and it's awesome. <laughs> but then someone took that right and had him sing it in yeah. a funny way. It made him sound like this. I love that. And then so you add that, and then I added myself screaming at the top of my lungs to that, and was like, oh, this. What if it was him screaming in regret that he never got the batteries for the power management yeah. that takes place in the game? Makes sense. And that was the meme. But you can understand that because I'm like, you you, you have a decent idea of what FNAF is. I had to like explain Five Nights at Freddy's, which is like impossible. Yeah. Also, it's so weird how jokes will just, like, compound on top of each other. That makes it difficult, too. Yeah. How did you get up here? Up where? Oh, not here. The cow escaped the cow. I legitimately believe that they jumped on top of each other. They can't do that. You're right. How did they do that? Well, it seems to be a fixed problem, at least for the moment. You made the house look so pretty. Thank you. I love it so much. Uh, going to bed. <laughs> I'll be there in a second. Here, I'll leave the thing annoying people doing servers. What? No. Oh no, I was gonna say peas bed. Peas <laughs> bed. Peas bed. Log off. Peas bed. Excuse me, sorry. I just need to pee my bed real quick. Uh, another hard day of home building. Now what? Um, I don't know what you'll do. I don't know. I'm trying to think. This glass is completely invisible. What? Like on my screen, the glass block is completely invisible. Ah, oh, dang it. <laughs> it's so difficult to place glass. Alright, I don't oh, think there's I want it to be invisible. It looks really cool. Looks like you're like... Oh, that'd be fun with that texture package. You can put that over the water or something. Yeah, and you, like, dude. Jesus around or something. That's cool. I like how Jesus is now a verb. It is, Jesus is. <laughs> yeah, you got a Jesus around. Yeah, you Jesus over the water. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> the worst part is that it makes sense. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely. Language is a, is a funny thing. Like I like, love and hate language. People are, I feel like people don't often uh, take advantage of the fact that like language is an evolving thing. Yeah. And that, like, why aren't we making more words? Yeah. Sometimes we do, right? Like slang. Yeah. But like a lot of times, or sometimes we change the meaning of words because as times change, so does the language we use. Mm -hmm. But a lot of times, it's very rare to find individuals who like take it upon themselves to use words in creative ways if other people aren't already doing it. Yeah. But I feel like I would love to see a culture where more people are more creative with words. Yeah, I feel like that would be fun. Like and especially with the English language, like that's you can be so creative with English. English is such a mess, and I love it. Yeah. Best bad language ever. Yeah. No, I agree. I've got so many seeds now. Nice. I'm happy with the I might learn how to build a mod for <laughs> Just to build the, just to get potatoes? Yeah, I just want potatoes. <laughs> I just want potatoes. No, I get it. Okay. Hard? Actually, potatoes, honestly, I would go without potatoes if I could get carrots. Oh. Are you going to learn the ground? Uh, I'm just, yeah. You don't need to make it solid. Yeah, nice. Yeah. 
I love how this has just exploded. I have added nothing aesthetic to this blender whatsoever. And I just look over here, and it's just beautiful. It's a happy muffin. Uh, I'm actually currently running out of hunger. That's what I'm doing. Hunger. Oh, there's all my coal. I'm just blind. That's my thing. Oh, wow. I, it's not that I, like, lost track of everything. <laughs> I just lost it. <laughs> See, I, I stole so good that came back. I didn't even realize that I had food in my inventory. I was like, oh, I need to go down and find food. I looked at the finding and I was like, oh, man, I need to cook some food. I had food in my inventory already. <laughs> my inventory is an absolute mess now. I look yeah. psychotic. I have... Okay, my... Where do you think my pickaxe is? Uh, slot 7. It is in slot 5. Uh, <laughs> right? That's the least yeah. usable slot. I know, I'm moving it. I'm, it's in slot 7 now, where I can, like, live with myself. You can almost access it, sometimes. <laughs> yeah, where are you... Wait, what's the optimal slot for you? Uh, slot number 2. I put mine in slot... I, I'll be real, I put mine in slot 7 quite a lot. Really? Yeah. I put my sword in slot one, and then I go back, but the pickaxe is right there. I don't know. I use the back side of the inventory way more than the front. Interesting. I think the idea was eventually, like yeah. it was so that I could flip quickly between my sword and pickaxe on both sides. I don't know why Kidney did it, because Kidney should be able to recognize that like, it was, if I just had them sitting next to each other, I'd get the same effect. <laughs> yeah. But Kidney thought it was cool, and so now Adult Me, uh, adult me plays the game back. <laughs> I mean, that's fine. No, like, no, it's, it's great. People, like... It's a thing. How people play Minecraft is such a personal experience. Yeah. What blew my mind is learning people hold their mouse different than me. Why like, do people hold their mouse? Sometimes they, like, there's something called the bear claw where you go all the way over, or sometimes there's, like, one where you just, like, pinch near the top. Oh. I, like, I go, I cover the whole mouse. Yeah, I don't know. It just depends on what type of... It, I don't understand people. Yeah. That's an interesting thing, though. Yes. Uh, I don't know what to do here. I guess I'll layer the glass higher. <laughs> See, folks, I hope you understand Minecraft. Me? Yeah, look, look at you. I'm not even doing anything. This is so pretty. You know where I live? You know that mine shaft we had? Yeah. That was going to be my house. <laughs> like, that I sucks. don't build, man. Why, Why not? not? I, I dig. Like, that's that's like a large portion of the appeal of playing Minecraft is that you build. Oh, I know. I, I don't really like it. Why? Why do you, why do you play that? <laughs> so much work. I'll be honest, it's a shock that Minecraft is a game that I like. Yeah, I can see that. You're like... I don't like open world games without a point. I don't like non-linear games. Uh, building stuff, I do like. But, like, sometimes I get overwhelmed by the effort that it takes. Yeah. I don't think if I had friends who liked it growing up, I would have come to enjoy it. Yeah. No, that's a lie. I think I would have picked it up. I don't mean... It's like I'm not a big fan of big open world games that are first person. Yeah. And yet here I am playing literally... The big first person open world game. I don't know what to do with that. It's, it's, it is a contradiction in my taste. Yeah. But... I like my obsession for a long time now because I've been building a house. It's been digging out like a furrow and living underground. I mean, like that's what I usually do because, like, usually I'm not, I'm not really worried about the appearance until like late game. But I, I don't know. I thought, why not? You know, my, we're we're doing this for for everyone to see. Uh, why not make it look nice? The last time I actually built a house, I um, I legitimately uh made a giant glass dome with nothing inside of it except a trap door that led down into my giant cave house. Yeah, I feel like that's how it usually goes. But I wanted that juxtaposition of nothing on the surface. Yeah. I like to just like I like to take all the resources in Minecraft and then go hide underground and make a little like underground forest just for me. Yeah. That's that's my that's my pure Minecraft state. When they released uh, lush caves in the game, I was so happy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's just that feeling. I love that aesthetic, and I was so happy to have it in the game. Um, the only thing I would like in Minecraft now, aesthetic wise, that isn't. Did you know in Terraria when you find a mushroom biome and it's blue and it's pretty and kind of like neon? Yeah. I want that. Yeah, that would be awesome. That's all I need left. If that's down there, along with the purple amethyst, that's perfect. It'd be perfect. I need more birch planks. <laughs> Here, I'll give you this. Why? Thank you. But, um, I have built some in Minecraft, but I don't really see... I, I don't ever make something excessively large or high in scale of concept. When you do that, you're setting yourself up to have a useless house. Yeah, I just get overwhelmed by it, right? Yeah. I've built houses in Minecraft that allow you to, like, you can get from one room to the other in, like, four different ways. Here, actually, don't go get wood right now, because it's about to be nighttime. Okay. Um, yeah, I feel like this house is really coming along, though. It's a nice little pit stop. What do you mean? Um, coming along? I don't think I want it to be, like, the like the home base. I think I want this to be, like, our base for now, and then eventually move somewhere cooler. <laughs> We're both just right clicking. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, nighttime. Come on, nighttime. I just hold it. Oh, you could. <laughs> I, um... Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I feel that. I don't know where I'm going to it. Like, you see this right here? 
We're down on this floor. Yeah. This is what makes me happy in Minecraft. This is what I usually do, especially in modded Minecraft. This makes me so happy. <clears throat> But then yeah. when I go up here, like, this is almost ornate for me. Like, it's huge. It is ornate to me, but I, I like it. Yeah, no, it's really I don't great. think this is huge. This is a small build. But... <laughs> That's the thing. Everyone else has built such amazing things in Minecraft that I think I found the tin thing. Yeah, right. I can see that. But I, um, I definitely felt that. I built a house, though, right, where you could move between it in a thousand different ways. So it would trap doors and ladders up to the roof and to other floors. And... Yeah, you could just and crawl all the way through it. Yeah, right? those are cool. Where Usually... it, was, it was based around the mechanics of Minecraft. Yeah. And then I did want to make a house that looked like a normal house, so I had it jutting out from the cliffside, yeah. defying gravity. Because I yeah. felt like that said something about Minecraft to me. Yeah, I can see that. Ah, <laughs> block so in, other, in other words, the only times I build, I build like a pretentious asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I think I got the building like that out of my system, like pretty early on with Minecraft, just because <laughs> I played my, like, you don't understand. I was introduced to Minecraft in its beta form in fourth grade by this kid named Grayson. And I was like, I was hooked. And after they ended like the closed beta, or no, it was open beta, like you could pay like 30 bucks a month or something and get access to like Minecraft 1. whatever, like before 1.2, you know, it was like, it was bad. Um, <laughs> it was but bad. After, after that was over and they had like the browser Minecraft, like me and all the other kids in my elementary school, we would just like hop on there during like the computer lab time, even though we were not allowed to, and join the servers because servers were free and open to everybody. Um, and it was great. I loved it. I also got all the birch wood that I could ever possibly need for this house. No, you have it. I got 32 oh, logs. Well, oh, for this house. You never have enough. There's never enough, but there's enough for this house now. I see. Hold on. Thank you. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Man, when I was growing up, I remember I played Roblox with a friend. Someone showed me Roblox. Yeah. And so when Minecraft was becoming popular, I was like, no, uh, Roblox is better. Dude, uh, okay, I did that for Roblox. Minecraft as a kid. I was like, I'm never going to play Roblox. Why would I do that when I have Minecraft? You were right. But, like, I started playing yeah, Roblox job. later, and I had a great time with it. Oh, Roblox you know? is awesome. Yeah. They're entirely different. They're not, like, even the same market up there. Yeah. <laughs> well, Roblox, quite literally, isn't a game, you know? It isn't, no. It, it gives you... My, the way I thought of it growing up is that Minecraft gives you everything you need in the game, really. Yeah. And you build with that, right? Whereas in Roblox, you put your own assets into the game. Yeah. And you make a game. Like, I've seen, like, full recreations of Pokemon in Roblox. Which I have played some, and it's fun. They're sick, yeah. Um, they've, I've played those in Minecraft, too, and they're better, though. That's the only thing. <laughs> well, like, Minecraft is way better. It's a better yeah. game. But, again, Roblox isn't a game, but... Yeah. It's kind of a game. Well, no, it's a platform. It's a game... It's like saying game. Netflix is a show. Yeah, it's like saying YouTube is a show. It's a platform. It's it's a gaming engine. It's a gaming engine. It's a gaming engine. I'll, I'll, I'll agree with that. I can see that like, being accurate enough. They label it, they call them they don't even call them games, they call them experiences. I know, it's pretentious. It's so pretentious, <laughs> I know, it shouldn't be. I should build something in Minecraft. I you should. Oh, man, I don't think I've built anything since 2019. Build something. I don't build, though. I just really don't build a lot. I don't know why. Mm, I like to wander build. around and farm, and then I usually dig down a little house and then make it clean. Yeah. Right? That's what I like about Minecraft. I don't build a structure, I like hollow out a cave and make it pretty. For yeah. me. So it's like full of all my banners and trophies, and I'll have a dog in there or something. Yeah. That big wheat farm. But then again, I just, I don't know why I never latched onto it. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like it'd be good, though. I feel like you probably, and like nobody starts out good at building, you know? Yeah. I, I still feel like I'm not really good at building. Um, but. If you were redstone, I'll never be good at redstone. Yeah. It's okay. I'll, I'll never understand redstone. I only understand redstone insofar as I'm watching a video about it. <laughs> yeah, have you seen like the people who play Mumbo Jumbo and make like walking houses and stuff? That's ah, uh, uh, I have not seen that, but I can believe it. Oh, it, actually, I can make a slime block flying machine. I could not. You just, you just, well, it's just like two pistons. I still guarantee you, I can find a way to skip. Two pistons and two slime blocks. Like I, I cannot do redstone. And then they, you put them in opposite directions and they push and drag each other. What do you want to do? Ah! I, I feel like I've lost my way. Because you've finished your singular task that you had. What should I do? What do I want? Who am I? Who are you? Ah, that's what I did wrong. I knew that's what I did wrong. Wait, that's not right either. How do I have on this side? Oh. Could you? No, no, no. 
I miss one. I don't like poppies. Have I ever told you this, Ram? Uh, possibly. Okay, like poppies. When yeah. I grew up, they were roses. Oh yeah, I remember that. And I loved them. They were cute. Roses don't do that in real life, but I loved it. Right? Yeah. Why did I love it? Because I'm a nostalgic little silly man. Um, <laughs> Understandable. And it's completely meaningless either way. However, uh, I love the rose bushes, and I get mad when I see poppies. Yeah. It's quiet inside. No, I do that too. Do you actually? Yeah. I'm like, yeah poppies. It's, it's like, why is it poppies? Why did they? It wasn't. There's was nothing wrong with it. Why did they change it? Well, it's just objectively more correct. But that doesn't matter. It, yeah, you're right. In block, where is the realism in my block game? Yeah. <laughs> like I'm not, I'm not fiending for some real life experience in the game where I could brave infinitely with zero regard for gravity as long as I'm not using standard crap. How do you feel about missions, pizza, Nikki? I, do I. Do you want to tell the childhood story about how you? were traumatized by Mission's Pizza. <laughs> it was definitely me who was traumatized by Mission's Pizza. It was definitely you and not me, and it definitely is not my story. Here's how, here's how the whole event went down. It, as only you would know, because only you were there. Yeah. It wasn't me. Remember, it was not me who had this story and told you earlier. Yeah, no, no. It, was, it was all 100% me. Yeah, yeah, tell me tell them your story. Little middle, middle school me at my homeschool co-op. You poor little middle school man. Um, because I was definitely that. Um, <laughs> I definitely wasn't homeschooled in my own house. And not not social at all. No, that wasn't me. That was Nate, actually. Um, I, don't, I don't know if people ever co-op help that much. I mean, like, you at least had, like, social interaction. I My social interaction was all of Minecraft. <laughs> the, the true public forum of our <laughs> No, go on, go on. Middle school you, yeah. and not me. Not middle school me, and not Nate Morgan. Not Nate Morgan. Um, what, 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 middle school Nicky Quigley. Yeah, middle school Nicky um, Quigley. What did middle school Nicky Quigley do? He experienced a time, yeah. a time of times, yeah. in which some time passed. It's time for bed. And as time passed, there was pizza, or what was commonly referred to as really disgusting. Um, I see. And everybody hated this really disgusting, because um, it was really bad, and that was kind of the whole thing. Are you telling me that somehow someone messed up pizza? Somehow, Can some you way. Can you explain to me how, in the name of all that is good, how do you mess up pizza? You can mess up pizza. How? Okay, how? I mean, using expired ingredients is what I feel like happened to me. What uh, I told what you, what I experienced. Yeah, when you, you experienced First hand. the terrible sauce pouring in your mouth. Yeah. When you, when you experience the horrible crust. But through my experience as like um as a manager at a pizza place, you know, there is very there are a few things that you can do that can make a pizza really bad. You know, yeah, it's like French fries. It's, it's like hard to, it, it's it's hard to mess up, but it's also hard to make great. Yeah. Um, and like, when when I was a pizza man, you know, on a, carrying out my pizza plans, um, what are you doing? <laughs> you're systematically frustrating. <laughs> you're gonna end up burying one of those holes. <laughs> <laughs> you're better at PvP than me, this isn't fair. This isn't fair. <laughs> I only played this game, I didn't know how to play, I'm gonna die. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I lost one heart. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Are you serious? Yeah. yeah. Actually, it's the opposite. You're very good at this game. Shoot, 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 shoot. <laughs> Oh no, you actually did. <laughs> I thought you were saying that like to be dramatic. What, I mean, I'm never sarcastic. I'm perfectly honest in everything I have ever said and I've never lied once. Yeah. <laughs> You're right, never mind. I'm always serious. I ne I've never told a joke in my life. I'm the most <laughs> Abraham Lincoln log over here. Abraham Lincoln log! <laughs> I love that. Abraham Lincoln Log. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I know, there was, there was some kid that was like a family friend or something, and they had called Abraham Lincoln April Hand Lincoln. April Hand! <laughs> April Hand, he saved us from the Sample War. <laughs> yeah, April Hand Lincoln. April Hand Lincoln. April Hand Long Long. Um, do you have any derb, perhaps? I do have derb, which I will give to you, and then we'll start uh, wrapping up. Okay, what are you wrapping up? Yo. My name is Nate, and I have a wish to give you this dirt. Oh, so delish. I'm okay. now going to go swim with the fish and log off because the episode's over. Go subscribe. Subscribe to our channel. Subscribe! Sobel Crow. <laughs> <laughs> no, hold on, I need to finish this. There's one more block, and I missed those three. I'm watching. There we go. I'm watching. Woo!